Hey, Tactical Painter back out in the Suits Crafting Woodshop. Today, we are going to be getting things set back up. We got the wall moved back. It's now behind me. I am currently standing where the wall used to be, and now it is eight and a half feet back that way. I've got all sorts of extra shop space now. Uh, but, in order to move the wall from right here, I had to take all the stuff that was in front of it, and near it, and around it, and put it on the opposite side of my shop. So now, in order to get to the lathe, I've got to clean everything back up. I've got spare wood back there. I've got boxes that have kits and different things in them. And I've got uh, tools, sanders, all sorts of things that i got to clean back up. So I'm going to put the camera all the way back there. We'll put it on time lapse and you guys can just see me setting things back up, getting things back in order here. Okay, well we're not all done, but it's a lot better than what it was. I can now get to my lathe, as you can see here. I can now get to my lathe, but uh, I'm going to call it a night because it's now, it's 11.05. I got to work in the morning, and uh, I had just very limited time. Just wanted to show you guys some of the things that we got going on out here in the shop currently. Um, currently working on uh, a gavel base for uh, an auction that we're going to be going on. Um, you guys, if you're part of my Instagram, uh, Suits Crafting on Instagram, you can check me out there. I've got this being glued up, photos of this being glued up. Uh, this is going to be turned into a gavel base. I've already done the handle, which is up here. Here's our handle. It doesn't have a finish or anything put on it yet, but that's our handle. Just real basic handles. First time I've done one, and it turned out pretty nice, actually. I really like it. And so I'm looking forward to doing that that base up. Um, it's got some spalting in it. I've never seen spalting in oak, so I was pretty excited when I saw that because this is just pallet wood that I cut this off of. And uh, it's real heavy, real dense, as oak you know often is. And uh, I'm really looking forward to turning this up, turning it into a base, and then getting this gavel finished. I've got only just a week or so to do it. This is that project that I was saying, you know, they, they upped the date on me. They, you know, I wasn't going to have to do it until the actual auction on Saturday, but now they want to see it on Tuesday at a meeting that we got coming up. So I'm going to try and get it done this weekend, see if we can't get that done for them. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, this part's really exciting. So you've been hearing me complain for a while that I've got terrible lighting out in the shop. You can actually see part of my lights right here. These are fluorescent bulb tube lights and they are awful when it comes to lighting out in the shop. And they, you know, they leave the lines in the videos and sometimes even when I take pictures the lines show up and so there's not really a whole lot that I can do about that. Um, but what I can do is that I've got some LED strip lights that I'm going to be putting up on the wall over here where my lathe is at so that way I can get better video quality uh, a little more lighting around so I can actually show you guys because when I shoot, I shoot with the camera in front of me and it's pointing down and you're seeing the back side of what I'm doing and lately, as you, you know, some of the videos you'll see later on you'll see that the angle is actually straight down because I actually have found my tripods from when we moved um, I unearthed my tripods and so I've actually been using a tripod instead of just a little tiny camera tripod that I've got sitting up on the up on the 2x4s. So it's going to be a little bit better quality, better lighting, much better lighting um, with these uh, RGB strip lights that I'm going to set up. So I'll do a video on that and how to wire them and all that stuff. Uh, so that'll be kind of fun and I'm doing something different instead of just setting them straight up, beaming me straight in the face, I'm actually going to put on some angle aluminum so that way it's casting and bouncing off white surface walls and, and bouncing off of other surfaces and so you'll have light coming from all angles instead of just direct on to the project. 
because um, direct light is harsh and it's not great for video quality and I want to get better video quality out here for you guys. Um, I'm only up to 89 subscribers right now, but I really I want to give you guys the best quality that I possibly can get some more subscribers in there and then maybe eventually monetize and we can start doing some better projects and upgrade some of the stuff in the shop here. Um, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with this stuff. I want to show you guys how it's done and then uh, show you what I have available and what I'm capable of. And if you guys want something, just let me know. Shoot me a, a private message and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, but mostly I do it because I love to make stuff. If I don't make stuff, I get itchy and I start going through withdrawals, you know, creator withdrawals. It's a serious problem. Hashtag creator withdrawals. That's going to be a thing soon, I think. And uh, let's see, what else do we got out here? So we got LED strip lights. Oh, I got this in the mail recently. It's not an unboxing because I've already opened it, as you can see. But I got this in the mail. I got another Amboina Burl looking forward to this one. I got this one for even cheaper than the last one that I got and this is actually the whole burl cap. And so this was pretty exciting. I was really excited to see this when it came in the mail. It looked a little bit bigger in photos. Um, you know you can see I guess my hand really isn't a comparison because my hand is as big as most people's heads but um, you know it is a very large burl but not quite as large as I was hoping but it'll be a really nice project if not cut up, turn into pen blanks, and then I do stuff with the live edge. So we'll see how that turns out. But that's what I got going on in the shop. I'm going to head inside, hit the sack, and uh, we'll come out here tomorrow and, and get some stuff done. Thank you so much for joining me on the shop. If you want to see some of my other update videos, check it out here. Please subscribe. And then if you want to see any of my pen making videos or any of my other stuff going on, go ahead and check them out here. Thank you so much. This is Tactical Painter in the Soothcrafting Woodshop signing out. Good night, everybody.